So welcome, this is uh, at Excel IGCSC, Thursday, 16 May 2019, Chemistry, Paper 1, 4CH1, 1C, from May 2019. So the first question, it asks, potassium permanganate is purple solid that is soluble in water. This is a purple solid which is soluble in water. Purple in color. A crystal of potassium permanganate is placed in the beaker. Now it is placed in the beaker containing water. After a short time, the crystal becomes smaller. So we can see the size of the crystal is becoming very small. And you can see that that color is being over here. And the liquid at the bottom of the beaker becomes purple, which statement is true. Now, what is happening is over here in the beginning, the purple color is over here, high concentration. And in the water, literally zero concentration means low concentration. So what is happening over there? The color is moving. The purple color is moving from high concentration to lower concentration. We can say that the purple color is moving from higher concentration to lower concentration. Higher concentration to lower concentration. So what is happening over there it is because of dissolving so option b is going to be the correct answer because it's not evaporating it is not melting and it is not condensing it is dissolving and moving from higher concentration to lower concentration that is one a one b the beaker is left until there is no further change in the appearance of the liquid which statement describes the final appearance so everything will be changed into the total per this again over here we can see that this is higher concentration over here then this is lower concentration so purple color will be again going from higher concentration to lower concentration so at the end what will happen the entire liquid is going to become purple color so what will be the option the first option all the liquid is purple which process causes this change in appearance this is because of nothing but what diffusion it's not condensation it's not crystallization or it is not evaporation rather than it is diffusion part c the formula of potassium permanganate is kmno4 how many different elements are there in potassium permanganate so potassium is one manganese is one oxygen is one so totally how many do i have three i have so option a question two the diagram shows a part of a periodic table with elements represented by the letters L, M, Q, R, T. The letters in the diagram represent the elements but are not chemical symbols. Give the letter from the diagram that represents noble gas. We know that noble gases are all in the last column. So therefore it is T. Elements L and M are in the same group. State why they have the similar chemical reaction. Because when they are in the same group, they will be having same number of outermost electrons they have same number of outermost electrons next an atom of element q has 31 protons use this information to explain how can you determine the number of protons of an atom of an element r now where is q q is over here 31 so number of protons is equal to number of electrons so therefore q1 also has 31 electrons so number of protons number of protons is equal to number of electrons so when it has q has protons 31 electrons also will be having 31 the periodic table is arranged in the increasing order of the electrons we know that it is arranged in the increasing order of electrons increasing order of electrons so this has to be 31 32 and 33 so therefore r has number of electrons in r will be 31 plus 2 which is equals to nothing but what 33 which is also equals to nothing but what number of protons that's going to be the answer question number three a student does these two tests of sodium solution made from a white solid flame test added acidified silver nitrate solution the table shows his result 
give the formula for the ion that produces the red flame. So we know that we need to remember lithium produces red flame. So Li plus. Name the cream precipitate. Cream precipitate is nothing but what because of silver bromide. These are certain colors you need to memorize it out. Identify the solid. Now because it is emitting li lithium and it is silver bromide so combination will be nothing but what lithium bromide. A student uses a clean metal wire in the flame test. State why the wire has should be clean when used in the flame test because in order to prevent the contaminants maybe another experiment would have been done some other chemicals would have been present so in order to prevent contaminants giving a false color the table prop list properties of shows metal and add tick to the table to show the two properties needed in a metal wire to form a play flame test so the table is the properties of some metals so metals are good conductor of electricity high density high melting point and unreactive add tick to the table to show the two properties needed in a metal wire used in the flame test test so it should have a high melting point it should not melt easily because we are doing it at a flame test and moreover it should be not reactive also if at all it reacts we will not be knowing it out the chemical that we are testing so it should be high melting point and it should be unreactive also question number four a student uses this apparatus to in investigate the colors in four different links a b c d explain two mistakes the student made when using this experiment he is using chromatography so what is happening a baseline drawn in ink the baseline is drawn in ink because ink is also a color right so the ink so that is the most first one the first pro problem because it is also it can be dissolved in water it can be dissolved in water what it will cause this will cause the ink to mix with water this will cause the ink to mix with water the level of water should be below the spots the level of another one is the level of water should be below the spot so those are two things so if at all you want to write it out over here so the level of water i erase over here and write it as a second point the level of water should be below the spots now the next one Another student does this experiment but does not make any mistake. The diagram has uh, shown her results over here. How many colors uh, link D has? You can see the three spots, so therefore three dots. State which of the ink tested could be mixed to make uh, mixed together to make ink D. Because A has one spot and B has two spots, so A and B combined together will be giving you three spots. Explain which of the inks tested is insoluble in water. C is insoluble in water because it does not dissolve in the solvent and therefore it does not move. It does not dissolve in the solvent and therefore it does not move. Question number four. In 1937, an airship full of hydrogen gas flew from Germany to America 
which property of hydrogen makes it suitable gas to use in the airship so therefore it should be having low density if the colorless will not affect at all then insoluble in water will not affect whereas low density should be the one so that it will be useful for the what is this fuel and a smell does not affects at all so answer is nothing but what it should be having low density explain why helium is now used in airships instead of hydrogen so helium is one reason is nothing but what not flammable helium is not flammable since it is inert gas and hydrogen is flammable hydrogen is used to manufacture ammonia hydrogen is reacted with nitrogen using iron crystals give a chemical reaction for this one so nitrogen plus hydrogen gives rise to ammonia a reversible reaction we have to balance this is gas gas and a gas so balance it out three hydrogens and two ammonia state why a catalyst is used in this reaction so to speed up to speed up the rate of reaction question number six the reactions of metals with water and with dilute sulfuric acid can be used to determine the order of reactivity of the metals the table shows the reactions of four metals w x y and z with water with dilute sulfuric acid what is the order of the reactivity of these metals now we can see that z is reacting quickly both with water and sulfuric acid so z has to be the most reactive one so it has to be either b or d and we can see that w has no reaction at all so w has to be the last one so it can be again b and c and d b and d now compare between x and y x and y we can see that y is what is this less reactive whereas x is reacting quickly when compared to y so therefore next option is nothing but what option b is going to be the answer because x is more reactive than y so z x y w so option b is going to be the answer state which metal w x y or z could be copper because copper is most stable one so therefore w has to be nothing but what copper state which metal w x y or z could be magnesium so why magnesium because magnesium can be x why it is magnesium can be x because a magnesium reacts slowly with water slowly with cold water so this is a property you need to memorize but faster with acid a displacement reaction can also be used to decide the order of reactivity of two metals state two observations made when an excess magnesium powder is added to an aqueous solution of copper sulfate so what will happen is the first one is the blue color the blue color disappears as cu plus 2 change to cu cu solid then brown deposits of copper at the bottom of the beaker then you can further write a colorless solution is also formed so these are the three observations for displacement reaction question number seven diamond graphite and silicon dioxide all have joint covalent structures explain why silicon dioxide have a high melting point silicon dioxide has many covalent bonds it has many covalent bonds between atoms then large amount of, because of this covalent bond what is happening large amount of energy large amount of energy 
is required large amount of energy is required to break the bonds and overcome forces of reaction or forces of attraction explain why graphite conducts electricity why graphite conducts electricity because it has delocalized electrons it has delocalized electrons which conduct electricity state why diamond has art but graphite is soft so diamond has all the four electrons in the carbon atom bonded with carbon atoms forming a tetrahedral structure so diamond has all four electrons in carbon atom bonded to carbon atoms forming tetrahedral structure graphite has three electrons used in bonding and hexagonal structure whereas graphite has three electrons used in bonding and forming hexagonal structure and the layers can slide over easily layers can slide over each other question number 8 ethene uh, can be converted into chloroethene in two stages the first stage is to convert ethene into 1 2 dichloroethene ethene is reacted with hydrogen chloride and oxygen complete the chemical reaction equation in this one so balance it out 2 4 it gives you 2 and 2 in the second stage 1 2 dichloroethene is converted into chloroethene this is a thermal decomposition reaction what is the meaning of thermal decomposition what is the meaning of thermal decomposition breaking down of a compound by use of heat the diagram shows a displayed formula for chloroethene state why chloroethene is described an unsaturated compound because it has double bond describe a test to show that chloroethene is unsaturated so what am i going to do that add bromine water add bromine water then chloroethene will decolorize the bromine water if at all it is a positive test what can happen is is the chloroethene chloroethene will decolorize decolorize bromine water name the polymer formed by chloroethene so it is polychloroethene Question number 9. Halon 1301 is a compound used in some fire extinguishers. This is a compound. Show by calculations the empirical formula of CBrF3 is CBrF3. So carbon, bromine, and fluorine. So I take the mass, which is 8.05, 53.69, 38.26. Now calculate the moles. How do I calculate the moles? Divide by 8.05 divided by 12. 53.69 divided by 80. 38.26 divided by 19. So, what do I get from there? 0 0.6708, 0 0.671, and 2.014 which is the smallest one 0 0.608 so divide by 0 0.6708 
it becomes 1 divided by 0 0.6708 it becomes 1 divided by 0 0.6708 it becomes 3 so CBR F3 is going to be the answer the diagram shows the displayed formula of the molecular of halon 1301 draw a dot cross diagram for this one so carbon carbon now over here i drive for carbon carbon has four electrons so one two three four now bromine has seven electrons so therefore what will happen one bromine will come over here attach <coughs> and one fluorine another fluorine and the third fluorine so this is bromine one two three four five six seven and the next one is fluorine one two three four five six seven another fluorine one two three four five six seven and the other fluorine one two three four five six seven the boiling point of halon is this much explain why halon 1301 has a low boiling point because it has been held by weak intermolecular forces halon is held by weak intermolecular forces between the molecules little energy is required to overcome the forces question number 10 there are three isomers with the molecular formula C5H12. One of these isomers is pentane. The displayed formula is this much. State what is the meaning of isomer. So compounds with same molecular formula but different structural formula. Compounds with same molecular formula but different structural formula display draw the displayed formula for another isomer for c5 h12 c5 so what can i do c5 h12 so i take one two three four carbons i do the branching at this one so now five carbons are over h12 so one hydrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. In this way, it can be done. Pentane reacts with bromine in the presence of ultraviolet radiation. Complete the equation in this one. So one bromine goes and replaces the hydrogen. So it will become C5H11Br. And that hydrogen comes and reacts with another bromine to form HBr. Give the name of this type of reaction because bromine is replacing hydrogen. It is called as a substitution reaction. Question number 11. The gas burned in Bunsen burner is methane. The equation for the complete combustion in the methane is given. Calculate the mass of oxygen required to react with 20 32 grams of methane. So, first of all, I take moles of methane. Methane molecular mass is given. Moles of methane is 32 grams divided by 16. So, 2 moles. So, the ratio for methane to oxygen, right? So, methane to oxygen. It is 1 is to 2. So, but what we have now? It is 2. So, 2 is how much? How many moles of oxygen is required? 4 moles of oxygen is required. 4 moles of O2 is required. Now mass of oxygen is required. So mass of oxygen will be number of moles times its mass. 64 times 16 which is nothing but what? 64. 
the diagram shows the methane burning in air it also shows how two gases are formed are collected and tested explain why water collects in the u tube because it is condensed form it is condensed form of vapor it is condensed from vapor to liquid it is condensed from vapor to liquid by ice and water describe how anhydrous copper sulfate is used to test of water anhydrous copper sulfate is white when we add water to it it turns blue forming hydrated copper sulfate anhydrous copper sulfate is white in color when water is added it turns blue forming hydrated copper sulfate explain the change in the appearance in the lime water lime water turns into a white precipitate due to formation of calcium carbonate on reacting with carbon dioxide so when lime water what will happen turns into white precipitate due to formation formation of what calcium carbonate on reacting with carbon dioxide question number 12 a student uses his apparatus to investigate the temperature change that occurs when ammonium nitrate is dissolved in water she uses this method put 100 cm cube of water into polystyrene cup and measure the initial temperature of water add 8 g of ammonium nitrate and stir record the lowest temperature reached by the solution table shows that initial temperature was 20 the lowest temperature is 14.2 use these results to experiment to explain what type of reaction is taking place when ammonium nitrate is added to water the reaction is endothermic why it is taking away the heat from it because the temperature is dropped if at all the temperature is increased it is exothermic so endothermic because the temperature drops show that the heat energy change is about 2400 joules mass is 1 cm cube of solution for the solution so therefore we will know the formula q equal to mc delta t mass is 100 c is how much 4.18 and delta t is how much the difference in the temperature how much is the difference in the temperature 5.8 multiply it out you get 2424.4 which is 2400 in three significant figures use your answer on part b to calculate the enthalpy in kilojoules per mole of ammonium nitrate so moles of ammonium nitrate you have to calculate how much grams is that 8 grams and total molecular weight is 80 so how many moles 0.1 0.1 is giving you how much 2424.4 one will give you how much so it's going to be 1 times 0.2424.4 divided by 0.1 which is going to be nothing but what let me write here 24244 joules but i want in kilojoules so divide by 1000 so it is 24.244 kilojoules A student uses this apparatus to investigate the rate of reaction between magnesium and excess of dilute sulfuric acid. She uses this method. Use a graduated beaker to pour 50 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid of concentration 2 mol per dm cube in the conical flask. Add a piece of magnesium ribbon of mass to the acid and put the bag into the neck of the flask. Measure the total volume of the gas collected every 10 seconds until the reaction stops. Now plot the student's result on the graph on the grid draw the best line curve so what is that we have to use the this data and plot the student's result so when it is zero it is zero 
that is first point then when it is 10 it is 29 when it is 10 it is 29 then 20 is 52 30 is 67 40 is 76 50 is 81 60 is 84 70 is 84 80 is 84 so i am going to join it out joining all the points now i want to find it out next what else is asking the student repeats the experiment using 0 0.043 grams of magnesium ribbon 50 centimeter cube of two mole drawn a grid a the curve would expect in this experiment and label it as y now how what is happening over here 50 centimeter cube and previously how much have we taken it out over there is same 50 centimeter cube two mole per below so what are we going to do that now how much of magnesium 0 0.043 grams and previously how much was the magnesium two moles per dm cube was a concentration and 0 0.086 grams previously it was 0 0.086 grams now it is 0 0.043 grams so it has to be below lesser one so somewhere over here and mark it as y a student repeats this experiment with 0 0.086 grams of magnesium same but a slightly higher temperature and mark it as z now it is at a higher temperature so therefore the reaction will be the same one what is this faster but it will be tapering it off at the same So label this as Z. The expected volume of gas produced in the first experiment is 86 centimeters cube. So just why the volume collected is less than the expected volume. So some gas would have been ex escaped before the bug was replaced. Some gas must have escaped before the bung was replaced the student uses a graduated beaker to measure the volume of dilute hydrochloric acid explain why it is not necessary to use a measuring cylinder in this experiment because the acid used is in excess and therefore not accurate volume is not required because the acid is is in excess and therefore accurate volume is not required the ionic reaction equation for the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid is given use this information in this equation and the particle collision theory to explain why rate of reaction decreases during each of the experiments because the concentration of hydrogen ion is decreasing this will lead to fewer collisions per unit time the rate of reaction decreases because concentration of hydrogen ions decreases there will be fewer collisions per unit time A salt can be made by reacting an acid with an insoluble base. A student has a sample of copper to oxide. The student uses this method. Pour 50 cm cube of dilute sulfuric acid into a beaker. Warm the acid with a Bunsen burner. Add a small amount of copper to oxide in the warm acid and stir the mixture. Add further amounts of copper to oxide until copper to oxide is in excess. Filter the mixture. Obtain the crystals from the filtrate. 
state why the acid is warmed in stage 2 to increase rate of reaction. State how the student would know that the copper 2 sulfate is in excess in stage 4. What will happen is the black solid will settle at the bottom. The black solid will settle at bottom. State why the mixture has been filtered to remove the excess copper 2 oxide. Then state the color of the filtrate obtained in stage 5 blue. Why it is blue? Due to the presence of copper plus 2 ions. Describe how the student could obtain a pure dry sample of hydrated copper 2 sulfate crystals from the filtrate. So what am I going to do? Heat the filtrate as you state with a glass rod. So first step is heat the filtrate. as you stir with a glass rod then once the crystals form on the glass rod remove the solution from the flame and let it cool once the crystals form on glass rod Remove the solution. From flame. And. Let it cool. Next is. When the solution is cool. When the solution is cool. Filter to remove any excess water dry the crystals in an oven that's it next one the overall equation of the formation of hydrated copper 2 sulfate crystals from copper 2 oxide is given. In an experiment, the student completely reacts 9.54 grams of copper 2 oxide. Show that the maximum possible ma mass of hydrated copper sulfate that can be obtained is 30 grams. So first of all, what am I going to do? I am taking moles of copper oxide. How much is that? I took 9.54 grams divided by 79.5, which is 0.12. So one mole is giving me one mole. So moles of copper sulfate is also formed is hydrated copper sulfate formed is also 5H2O will also be same 0 0.12 because the ratio is 1 is to 1. Now what will be the mass now? Mass will be 0 0.12 times 249.5 which is equals to 29.94. In this experiment the actual yield is 23.92 calculate the percentage yield percentage yield will be nothing but what actual divided by theoretical times 100 actual is 23.92 theoretical is 29.94 times 100 so what does that become 79.29 or 89 79.89 question number 15 hydrated ammonium iron 3 sulfate is violet solid that has a formula of this one the table shows some tests done on this 3 separate so dissolve the solid in water and add it barium chloride solution barium chloride solution so it is white ppt dissolve the solid in water and add it sodium hydroxide solution sodium hydroxide it is a brown ppt these are the colors you need to memorize added sodium hydroxide solution to the solid and warm the mixture Test the gas, test the gas given off and moist universal indicator paper. So first of all it turns blue. Why does it turn in blue or indigo or purple? Because it's a strong base. 
as it is a strong base complete the table we have done now a student needs to find the value of x from the formula he uses this apparatus the equation is given then the table shows the results calculate the mass of na2 nah nh4 taken twice so 4 dot fe2 so 4 taken thrice so how much is that one now 28.69 minus mt1 28.69 minus mt1 is 22.04 which is 6.65 calculate the mass of water produced in these two how much is the difference 34.09 minus 28.69 so which is 5.4 so we take two columns nh4 taken twice so4 fe2 so4 taken thrice and water mass is 6.65 and it is 5.4 so moles what should i do divide by 532 and divide by 18 how much does that becomes now 0.0125 and 0.3 which is the smallest one 0.0125 divided by 0.0125 moles ratio so what do i get it out 1 and 24 so the value of x is going to be nothing but how much 24 24 water molecules so that completes the paper see you in the next paper bye